is International Holocaust Remembrance Day, the anniversary of the liberation of the Auschwitz-Birkenau concentration camp, and that was 77 years ago. But acts of anti-Semitism, racism, and hate continue, of course. A North Shore organization is hoping to try to stop that through education. This is video taken on the day when swastikas appeared as graffiti at Danvers High School in a bathroom. I spoke with Deborah Colton from the Lappin Foundation who says this was just one instance of hate that has happened across the state in recent months. Her organization is now hosting a Holocaust symposium in Danvers and another community hit by anti-Semitism, Newton. Colton hopes that these sessions will help educate people, both young and old, about the victims of the Holocaust and how hurtful anti-Semitism is. I think it's really important because recent acts of anti-Semitism around the state, across the country, and around the world are a stark reminder that just because the Holocaust ended in 1945, anti-Semitism has not. And where there's anti-Semitism, there's other forms of hatred as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it's important to have a day to honor the memory of all victims of the Holocaust, including Jews, homosexuals, Jehovah's Witnesses, individuals with disabilities, and the Roma, just to mention a few. And the day serves as a call for ongoing educational programs about the Holocaust to prevent future genocides. And according to the FBI, there were 7,759 reported hate crimes in the U.S. in 2020 which was the most in 12 years.